Welcome to Rod's Tree Tours of the University of Nevada, Reno Arboretum. My name is Rod Hollandig, aka The Tree Hunter. I am the host for this tour. This is the North Side of Canada Hall Tree Tour. It starts at the southwest corner of Canada Hall and goes around the building clockwise, ending in the recess in the building on the north side. All the trees are between sidewalks and the building. Unless otherwise noted, all trees were planted with the original landscaping in 1993. There is a pause of two seconds after each tree to let you get to the next tree, but if you haven't yet reached the tree or if you need a little extra time to locate or contemplate it, please press pause until you are ready and press play. Okay, let's get started. The tall, thin tree with numerous small, almost vertical, branches at the corner of the building at number one in the map is columnar hornbeam, scientific name Carpinus betulus vestigiata. This cultivar of the European hornbeam is often planted in parkway strips between the sidewalk and the street, as well as in corners of buildings, like this case. Please press pause and walk to one of the three small trees on the west side of the building at number two on the map. Then press play. This is crab apple, scientific name Malus sp, a tree cultivated for thousands of years because it stays small, it has gorgeous flowers in spring, and its fruits, if present, are small and not messy in a lawn setting. A few years after planting, crab apples have shaggy and mottled bark. Please press pause and continue on the ramp to a rectangular recess on the north side of the building. In this recess are two tall, thin trees with hand-shaped leaves at number three on the map. Press play. These trees are Norway maple, scientific name Acer platinoides. Native to northern Europe, Norway maple has five sharply pointed lobes with points along the lobes. It is another locally popular tree because it is reasonably fast growing, reasonably tough, and many of the numerous cultivars have bright yellow fall color. In the eastern U.S., where there is abundant rainfall, it is considered a weed tree because it makes many small seedlings. These trees are in complete shade and with little room to grow, but seem to be healthy. Between the Norway maples and the sidewalk, at number four, is a tree with compound leaves, that is, having a central stem with 10 or 12 leaflets coming out from it in this case. This is Chinese pistache, scientific name Pistacia chinensis, native to China. This tree is often considered marginally hardy in Reno, but UNR has planted a bunch of them and they seem to be doing well. The flowers are inconspicuous but the fall color is bright pinkish red. Continue along the sidewalk toward North Virginia Street. There is a triangular recess in Canada Hall with some interesting trees, but they are below a rock wall and we'll get to them in a little while. Next to the sidewalk at number five is a tree with branches extending horizontally from the trunk. This is Schumard oak. Scientific name Quercus schumardii, native to central and midwestern U.S. It looks very similar to northern red oak, but the lobes are cut more deeply. Its fall color is brownish red. This tree has simple leaves, that is, a central stem with one leaflet. The gray green conifer at number six is blue atlas cedar. Scientific name Cedrus atlantica glauca. It is one of three true cedars which grow in Reno. All three are represented at UNR. Atlas cedar is native to the Atlas Mountains of Algeria and Morocco. Its upward pointing white to beige cones grow over the entire tree in winter. This cedar species can be identified by its pointed branches. About 10 feet farther at number seven is weeping nutka or Alaska cedar. Scientific name Cami Cypress nutkaensis pendula, a cultivar of Alaska cedar. 
This is not actually a true cedar. Pioneers thought a lot of conifers were cedars. The species is native to mountainous areas along the U.S. and Canada West coasts. The sweeping, drooping branch structure is different on every tree. This one is multi-trunked. Compare this one with the one on the Jimmy's Garden tree tour. 30 feet farther at number 8 is another true cedar, weeping deodar cedar, scientific name Cedrus deodara pendula. The species is native to Turkey. This tree has gracefully weeping branches and the characteristic needles radiating from a point. No two weeping deodar cedars have the same shape. Please press pause and walk to the three trees near the fire hydrant at number 9. Stop next to the middle tree and press play. The compound leaf tree on the right is European mountain ash, scientific name Sorbus alcaparia. It is native to Europe, Western Asia, and Siberia. In some cases, it has escaped cultivation and is growing wild. It is valued for its orange-red fall color and its orange or red berries, which hang on all winter. The middle tree, a conifer, is western white pine, scientific name Pinus monocola, a native of the Sierra Nevada. It is a member of the white pine group with five needles per bundle. The needles have some silver color, and this makes them look light green. The needles are thin. The tree on the left with roundish leaves is Eastern Redbud, scientific name Circus canadensis, native to Eastern and Midwestern U.S. It stays small and is a good accent tree because of its yellow fall color and especially because it is loaded with tiny purple flowers in April. Please press pause and continue in the same direction until you see the next tree at number 10, another Eastern Redbud then press play. Note that the leaves of this tree are larger and more pointed than the other tree's leaves. This shows the variation in leaf shapes in this species. Follow the sidewalk leading to the building and look on the left. There is another European mountain ash. On the right are two small weeping conifers with 5 16 inch cones at number 11. These are weeping saguara cypress, Scientific name, Camicypris pacifera aurea pendula. Amazingly, these trees are on the original landscape plans for the building, so they were probably planted in 1993, and yet so small. Saguara cypress has smaller cones than other Camicypris species, which have cones about twice as long. Between the parking lot and the fenced area at number 12, are two Colorado blue spruces, scientific name Picea pungens. Native to the northern Rocky Mountains, this tree grows quite well in Reno. Its blue-gray foliage makes it a desirable accent tree. It starts out with a pyramidal shape, but after a few decades, it becomes round-headed and quite large. Please press pause and walk onto the red brick pavers, then press play. The tree between the building and the rock wall at number 13 is another Schumard oak. But notice that the shape of this one is different from that of number 5. Why is this? Look at the middle of the tree at its top. The original top is gone. Please press pause and walk around the building into the mulched triangular recess area. When you get to the white barked tree on the right next to the rock wall at number 14, press play. This is European white birch, scientific name Betula pendula, native to Europe. This species has leaning branches, but this particular tree seems to lean more than usual. This species is susceptible to the bronze birch borer, which has killed many mature trees. The tree between it and the building at number 15 is Golden Rain Tree, scientific name Colruteria paniculata. It is native to China, Japan, and Korea. This is a four-season tree. In early summer, after the other trees have bloomed, 
It has cylinders of small yellow flowers. In late summer, it produces lantern-shaped fruit, which start out green, turn to yellow in fall, turn brown in winter, and stay on the tree until the leaves come out the next spring. Continue around the building to the tree with smooth lobed leaves at number 16. This is columnar English oak, scientific name Quercus rover vestigiata, cultivar of the species native to Europe. These trees are often planted in narrow areas to offset the look of tall buildings. The last tree at number 17 is European beech, scientific name Fagus sylvatica. It is native to Europe and is one of the trees most widely planted in public spaces there. Its smooth or wavy edged leaves are smaller than those of many other ornamentals, but are more durable. In a few years, this tree will bear spiny fruits which contain beech nuts, a la chewing gum or chewing tobacco. In fact, the leaf buds in winter are shaped like cigars. This concludes the North of Canada Hall tree tour. Thank you for joining me on this tour. If you would like to support the Arboretum, please see the options on the donate link on the UNR Arboretum website.